Okay, so you just downloaded my Rumble modding API. Open up the zip folder and open up the README. We'll go over installation of the mod, including setting up a new project in Visual Studios. So first off, make sure you have Melon Loader version 0.5.7 installed. If you have a later version than that, it won't work. Make sure you run the game without any mods. You can close at the TPO screen. That'll set up Melon Loader to do its initialization. Then, let's drag the mods folder into the Rumble folder. So I have my Rumble folder here, and we have the mods folder here inside the zip. So we drag it in here. If you take a look at the mods, it puts a DLL inside the pre-existing mods folder. It's not pre-existing, that's okay. It'll create the folder. I have a uh, Unity Explorer. Don't worry about that, you'll see that later. You don't need it to work with this. So moving on from there, we have number two, we need to create a new project. So let's go into Visual Studios and let's create a new project. In here, we want a class class library .NET framework. If you don't see it there, you can always type in the search bar class and you'll see it right there. Go ahead and double click that or click it and click next down below and then label your mod. And once you have it named, click create. Okay, so we created a new project and technically went through those already. And now we need to add references. We need to browse to the Rumble folder slash melon loader folder slash manage folder. So let's go to references, add reference, and you click browse down here. Okay, let's see which ones we need to grab. So we need to grab melon loader DLL and rumble.runtime.dll and rumblemoddingapi.dll Melon loaders in the melon loader folder. So let's start with that. Let's go to the melon loader folder. Right there's melon loader. And then we browse again and we go to the manage folder because that's where the rumble.runtime is. And rumble.runtime. And then we need the modding API, which is in the mods folder. So let's go back. Let's go back to our Rumble folder and go to mods. And right there is where we put it. Perfect. Now click OK. And you'll see a bunch has opened that. Don't worry about that. Just close it out. And now we need to open the properties drop down and open or double click the assemblyinfo.cs. So properties. And open it. In the assembly info.cs, add usings at the top. So we need both these usings. Copy this. Paste it there. Copy this. Paste it there. And you're going to get a red name because you need to change it to your mod name. But you'll see it start to move take care of. After the usings, put these two. So, there. And there. Now make sure you're to replace your name with your name. And you can put your mod name. I highly suggest you put it there. It's what sh gets shown when you log certain stuff to the console. And make sure the class names match. Mine's defaulting to class 1. If you change the name of the class before you paste this in, this won't change. If you change the name of the class afterwards, this will change with it. The second line is so that it recognizes this or Rumble as the game from Buckethead Entertainment. You can't change that. 
otherwise it won't work. And then open the class file. And the class is class one. So now we're here. So now we need to add usings at the top. So let's copy that. I get rid of the default usings as we're not currently using them or will we be using them. The ones we add in will be grayed out as we're not currently using them, but we will be. Then let's add colon melon loader after the class. That way melon mod knows that it's a mod. And then inside the class, let's add a function. This is the default function of melon loader. On scene was loaded. I like to make it a drop down because we're going to be using it. So now for the optional test, we're going to add in this line right here. Right inside the on scene was loaded. And what this is going to do is when the scene's name is equal to Jim, it'll get the local player's public username. And now Let's build project. And now we're going to need to navigate through our file explorer and head to this location right here. I've already started doing that. And I went through source, repos, twice for my mod name, obj, debug, and then you can find your DLL, your mod name DLL. Go ahead and copy that into the mods folder. And then open Rumble and load into the gym. So right away, we know our mod is currently loaded with the API. And let's go ahead and load into the gym. And right there, we see my Steam username. And so we've started working with the mod. Now if you want to utilize more about the mod, anywhere within your code, you can call calls dot, and then we have a couple of different things we can do. Right away we got is initialized as a method. That'll check if the API is initialized and ready to go. Otherwise, we have a bunch of classes that control different things in the readme file says what each one does so you can like go to the managers and get any of the managers that are in the game that I have included including the player manager like we are doing here the pools is going to be what ends up containing the structure pools and the shift stone pools. And then you can get all the different types of pools. And so you can go from there, experiment with what you can find and modify with what you can. If you notice after get returning it, you can check out the variables under say the player manager and you can just check out what each one does and try to modify them until next time i'll see you guys in the ring